So I'm sat outside in the lovely sunshine under the umbrella because it's so bright. I'm doing a little sketch of the valerian, valerian flowers that um, they grow everywhere. They grow in my garden, they grow out the walls, they grow everywhere. I just thought it would be interesting to do a little study because they're quite interesting. You get a nice cluster of flowers. There's a few little buds there that haven't opened up yet. These are well on the way to opening up. This one's about to open up and this one is nearly over. Um, it's almost like the skeleton of the flower but you can see clearly how each little flower has five petals so a nice cluster like that each one has those little petals so I've been sketching away down here trying to do some of the flower heads so they've just got these little petals Apparently, valerian is used, has been used for centuries. It's quite an ancient medicine for all sorts of things. I think the main one is um, to help induce sleep. Also, I've heard it's very good for the menopause. So it has lots of uses and you can buy it in tablet form. I think they use the root of the, flower, the plant rather than the flowers but I'm not sure about that. I find them fascinating because they, the leaves, the way they form and they come out of the stem and they're very pointed on the end. Those ones aren't actually, but most of them. And they have a little curl on the end. They curl up. So that's interesting. I find them fascinating to draw. Uh, I just thought they'd make an interesting sketch. And also, it teaches me more about the actual flowers. When you start studying, sketching like I do, you learn a lot about things, how, they, how they're made up. It's a good way of learning, makes you really look closely at things. I think the thing about drawing is Sometimes we guess at what's there rather than what is there and then sometimes it doesn't go quite right because we're guessing and not looking. So I do like to spend some time just really just sit and look, gaze at them for a while and just start sketching but try and keep your eye on the thing that you're drawing rather than on your paper. That's a good tip.